So this is the stuff I've planned on using sort of from the get-go, y'all. Hey, y'all. APT Jamie here. And today we are doing hashtag Makers Creative Collab Ornamental. It is um, a collaboration, obviously. I said that, didn't I? It's a way to start things. I'll tell you what. Anyway, the premise is we're given a list of things. Okay. Uh, in this case, we have a paper, a fabric, uh, all that shines, media, organic, techniques, and texture. And from those categories, we need to pick at least one item from three of those categories. Okay. You must story straighten you. So, I initially uh, picked, and of course, this is just me getting my stuff ready. Y'all know how I gather things together, <laughs> sort of. Uh, rice paper, silk, uh, create patina, foil or paint, and then the media was ink. Uh, organic, I did not choose anything from organic because I didn't know if I would end up going that way or not, so I kind of left that open. And then for techniques, of course, I went with a stencil because stencil. And for texture, again, I didn't know if I would go with that or not. Now, I picked from one, two, two. I actually went with five categories. Okay. Now, um, yeah, I won't give away the punchline. There's no punchline, y'all. Well, there could be, but it's <laughs> not. Anyway, um... I have sped up portions of the video and cut out minor portions of the video for your viewing pleasure and my voice over ease. That's correct, y'all. Ding, 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 ding. If there was a prize, you'd win it. So anyway, um, I'm playing around and I have this scrapbook paper. Um, it's very pretty, y'all. Anyway, it's an unusual size of 7 by 7 well, for me, that's unusual. I don't know if that's an unusual size for y'all or not. Anyway, why did I go with it? I don't know. Because <laughs> I did. And I have the rice paper, which uh, y'all saw me tear down into smaller bits. <laughs> and my piece of silk, um, I'm actually not positive that it's silk. I'm pretty sure it's silk, but we're using it. Okay? <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm calling my, that's my silk, y'all. Okay, anyway, we're going to ink around the bits of the rice paper slightly, ever so slightly, because I had already decided when I went with my little clamp, clamped, clamped, uh, die cut thingy there, it's got just a, a little bit of red on there, and I'm like, yeah, that's my, that's my color right there, my little smack of color. We're not going to say pop of color, but it's a smack of color, y'all. And that's what we're going to do. And uh, I'm just kind of fiddling around. Initially didn't have a plan, and then I kind of got stuck with, or stuck with, stuck on. <laughs> Y'all know me. Once I get my mind set, I'm going to do something. I'm going to use something. I'm going to do it. <sighs> Whether it works or not. Does it, it's constant consequential. Doesn't matter. Don't no matter. So anyway, that's our that's our clamp die cut. Uh, they're from Stamperia. Oh, speaking of, there is a list of ingredients in the description box below. Now, this is my first time participating in this collab, so I'm not sure if there are links below. <laughs> there could be links below. I would definitely check below for links. Okay? Any hoots. We're going to try the old planner glue with the foil guy you know it's the the foil film stuff now this does work i have done this before i just have not done it with a stamp okay so i thought i better test it over here on this scrap piece of paper <laughs> says the wise old owl and we did and um you're going to see how that comes out. Um, maybe if I don't let my planter glue dry just a bit more. 
or if I'd use less splinter glue. I don't know. But this, you know, it has worked for me in the past on paper. Have I used a stamp before? I don't know. Maybe I have used it with this stamp. I don't know. I don't remember. That's been too long if you don't remember. Well, it didn't work. So I said, well, that's okay. We will just use our sticky embossing powder. Okay? I've done this before. And it works. Okay? Usually. Okay? So this this time I'm gonna blame the paper. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know what it was. It could just be that it's too intricate of a stamp for this particular technique. Okay? So I mean, you know. I'll we'll have to see how that goes. <sighs> not, not so working so well and Well let's just use the embossing ink on top of that. Because we can line it up. We lined it up okay-ish. I mean, you know, it's okay-ish. And, uh, yeah, save that sticky embossing powder. So I, I don't know. I don't know what the deal was, y'all. But this didn't make much of a difference. <laughs> oh, yeah, we just kind of, like I said, like you already know, I get it in my head that I'm going to do something, and I just keep moving forward and just won't let it go and I really wanted the red okay now I'd also thought well you know I could always put my little foil on there my little foil film and run it through the uh, laminator machine because I got one of those but no I didn't want to get out and go get the laminator out and turn it on and do all that hoo-ha. So I'm like, no. <laughs> no, but it's okay. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's okay. So I decided not to go with the foil and switch over to glitter. But y'all know I'm not a real big fan, per se, of using glitter. Although, if you use glitter, my, my philosophy is seal that stuff up so it does not fall off and come apart in my hands. Okay, I don't want that glitter forever syndrome. Okay, so anyway, I have this washi tape and it's glitterized. Maybe not as glitterized as I would have preferred, but you know, that's how it goes. All right, so now I remembered I had to do some inking and use a stencil. So I'm like, okay, so we're going to do that. Oh, and I love these little, um, they're like the little makeup brush things, y'all. Only they're little fingertip thingies. And uh, I really like that for inking, you know, this way with stencils. Just saying, okay, much better than the foam pad or, you know, the blending tool or whatever. If you're going to ink on through a stencil, use the little brushes if you can. Go, okay. go. Okay. Well, let's throw a little red in that. And it looked good. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, but it looked good, okay, in real life. Whereas the dragonfly may look okay on camera, but in real life it wasn't that great. And it was not necessarily making me happy. And I thought about different things I could cover it up with, and then I finally decided, well, you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna move along. We're just gonna pretend it's supposed to be that way, because you know, y'all know what I say: imperfect is perfect. Because what in life is actually perfect, and is it perfection in the eyes of the beholder anyway? That's perception. Same same thing, y'all. So I got this Brad, and it's um. A metal brad y'all see me playing with off and on <coughs> excuse me anyway we're going to use that eventually we'll get to it i thought let's put this washi tape how's that going to look down there that looks brilliant i love it makes me so happy let's tear this one and i'm just laying it on there because it really doesn't feel that sticky in my fingers and i thought well we're gonna glue it because y'all know i'm a, i'm a washi tape gluer because i know that stuff turns loose usually typically expectedly so back to the brad <laughs> back and forth back and forth anyway and i like the papers loose i end up gluing on top of them but that's okay i like them loose 
So getting out my big old chomper thing, cropper dial. It's got two size holes on it and it can set your eyelets in because it's a big tool. It's got a lot of leverage going on. So yeah. So now I'm kind of ruffling, weaving my fabric silk in the twines of the um, the brad. You know, the sharp, pork, sharp, sharp, pokey things you poke through the hole and splay out on the other side. We're doing it. Yes, the video really is sped up. May not seem to be, but it is. So there we go. We got that going on. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Look at that. So nice. Okay, now we're going to glue down our washi tape. And evidently, I put pressure on it because it's stuck to the paper and the paper's peeling it. So, um, yeah, that's okay because we're going to put the washi tape on it. It'll be perfectly fine, y'all. So we're going to get out. Uh, I think we're using our glitter glue. And we're going to put that on the paper because we've got little peeled up places on the paper. So I need to put a note on my paper pad to seal that paper before I start messing with it because it's it's uh, pulls apart fairly easily. And it's fairly thin. It is paper, not card stock paper. Anyway, so gluing all that on, getting our little, I'm matching up the edge so it doesn't overlap a lot okay I'm gluing it up that way yeah I cut out just like 20 seconds worth of stuff maybe okay got that okay makes me happy and I look at the dragonfly and I'm like yeah I don't know and the bicycle that's on there is inconsequential favorite word of the day inconsequential don't matter it don't matter y'all so uh, we're doing that, and and I decided that because um, these are thick little die cut images, clamp, they're Stamparia. Not that it matters, not that I'm promoting, but anyway. Thanks, Sandra of Paint and Paper Studio, for selling those to me. Anyway, <laughs> plug. So um, I'm thinning it out a little bit having a hard time with it which means it's a it's a good piece y'all just saying <clears throat> and I'm like well it's okay it don't don't matter anyway don't no matter anyway so we're gonna glue that on my favorite Aileen's original tacky glue this is not a sponsored video but just you know products I like people just products I like y'all know that use them all the time I'm like okay so we're gonna put some weight on it and uh, I'm like, yeah, I'm not quite through with that dragonfly yet. Oh, I love that dragonfly, y'all. Oh, and that same stamp set, which is listed below, has a Luna moth. You know, that's that moth that comes out at night. It's moth. Luna. Moon moth. They're beautiful in real life. In real life, they're beautiful. And they are a uh, creamy, greenish type of color. Anyway. I like the dragonfly because, you know, I like dragonflies and moths are not butterflies, but a butterfly would have been better, but, you know, hindsight and all that. So I thought, well, we'll just, we'll just emboss it with a uh, red embossing powder. And I'm using the water brush to uh, outline around it so it will tear away and leave uh, fuzzy edges that will blend more readily easier into uh, the paper when we go to adhere it onto the paper okay and and I'm already thinking this is a weird color red it actually looks almost like a pink and I'm thinking I don't know and I think I even look at the embossing powder again just to make sure that it said red it did say red because you know it says red. Terranium. Red. It, see how pink it looks on that? In real life, it looks pink like that. And I'm like, no, that's red. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> Let's do it again. Only this time, we're going to go with what color it should have been from the get-go. Because, you know, we're talking Klimt here. And he's a master of the gold. 
Y'all know that. Well, he was master of many things, but master of the gold work. So we're going to make it gold. Okay. Get ready. We're going to see some embossing magic. Heat embossing magic. It's good. Maybe you can see. Maybe not. Maybe you can. Maybe not. So there we go. Now it's gold. And we're going to clean the importance of cleaning your stamp with a baby wipe or a wet paper damp not wet, a damp paper towel or whatever ever such thing because, you know, that sticky embossing powder makes it sticky and then it doesn't want to use the ink so well. So, anyway, here we go. Cutting around it with the water brush. One of my favorite ways to cut out thin papers. Rice paper. It was rice paper, y'all. Anyway. Nip. Not necessarily the easiest thing to tear. You definitely have better luck when it's wet. Anyway, okay, got that done. All right, put that away. Smoosh it around. Yeah, yeah. See that shimmer? <laughs> okay, now, because I, I usually use a uh, matte medium to tear stuff down, but in this case, because it's an embossed image, I know, I know if I use matte medium, I'm going to lose any shimmer I had to it at all. So I'm going to use some gloss varnish. Besides, it was on my desk, so. Well, matte medium's there too, but, you know. I'm going to try to keep it shiny. Try to keep it shiny, yeah. So there we go. We put it on our substrate, and we put it on the back of our image because it's rice paper, so it's too, you know it's pretty sturdy. And then we're going over the top of it. It did dull back a little bit anyway, but you know that's how it goes sometimes. So we got it on top of where the red one was. Although it's still red, it's still under there. He can y'all, and I forgot to say he can y'all several times, few times. So now I've progressed on, and I'm like, well. I still definitely need some shiny on here. So I'm going to use my standby diamonds. Y'all know I like my diamonds. Not a secret. Wasn't on the list. But, you know, it's shiny. So that's what we're doing. I meant other qualifications. And then I was just wiping off a bit of that um, glue globbles because I don't like that. Okay. Photo montage. I appreciate each and every one of you. And please be sure to check out the hashtag Makers Creative Cloak Collab on all, across whatever platforms, okay? And check out the other artist work. We all appreciate you, okay? Thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.